This is the review of the AABB Glock kit. I got the Desert Tan version, as you can see. Got the base frame of KSC G17, it's black. Got some black embus sights, I think looks nice, but I'm gonna get it for grip. Anyway, getting onto the gun. It does not influence the performance at all in terms of barrel length or cycling speed, but it does add a nice comfortable stock with this nice foam. It's like this foamish material, so when you rest your cheek on it, it's nice. It has a sling mount right here, so you can also use it as a full-fledged submachine gun, which is what I do. And it's very nice, because the in the back of the kit, it's completely hollow, besides the spring for the bolt. But other than that, it's very nice. Embus sights, just for looks. It has a top, bottom rail, top rail, two side rails, which I took off because it's uncomfortable unless you have like a foregrip because they're like really, they're metally and it's just bleh. Charging handle, it's okay. The only thing annoying is installing it because just about every screw takes a different size Allen key and it's very, very annoying. So unless you have one of these things I have, it's like 10, 10 Allen keys in one little thing. It sucks. Now it uses standard Glock mags, so oops. You can use the standard G17 mag like that. It just looks like that. Or what I would recommend if you're gonna use this as a primary in CQB is the full-fledged 50 rounder. It looks amazing. I don't know how I survived without it. So much spraying goes on. Um, it's just a normal KSC G17, you know, the usual high capacity, fast cycling rate, all that good stuff. Too bad it's not NS2, it'd be a lot better in NS2. But here's the other side. You can see it when you cock it, you can see the slide going back. And when it's done, it'll lock back as well. Very nice. Uh, comes with this nice flash hider. It has four different kind of um, lengths, so it'll stick out more or less. So that's really it. Oh, it also has these trademarks. Hera Arms made in Germany, even though it's made in China. Let me see if you can see that. It's Hera Arms made in Germany, which isn't true. It's made in China, like everything else. And just like the real thing, it actually is this. It says not allowed to use in C models, because in C models, some of the gas escapes to right here and it would melt it. It should be pretty cool to look. But anyway, it's $65. I, I think it was a worthful purchase. Um, if you have a pistol and you want to go primary with it and you want a stock for extra tight groups, just get this. It's really nice, $65 instead of paying $200 for like a KWA MP9 or something. And that's it.